Okay, so we're in the uh, settings under input columns for the customer. And what we need to do is grab a pen and note down a couple of important pieces of information. So we need to note down what the lineage ID is for the uh, for the customer input column. So you need to always do that for the item which is going to be the row within the pivot. And by definition, because um, this item is going to be the row in the uh, in a pivot, we give it a pivot usage of one. Um, then what we do is we jump down and create an output column. So we add column. So this column is going to be called customer. So this relates to the input column. So this is the output column that relates to the input column. Um, we, and what we need to do is, because this is a row item, we give it a pivot usage, uh, a pivot key value, which relates to the um, pivot usage value of one. Um, we then go source column. We update that with the 32, which is the, the lineage ID. Yep. So that all looks, uh, looks good. So it's just those two items that need to be updated. So then we jump back to input columns and look at the, uh, look at the product input column. And we only need to do one thing here. We need, because this is uh, the product, it is going to be the uh, a column item. So we want a set column for soda, milk, and whatever the other beer, I think, is the other column. So we columns always have a pivot usage value of two. No need to note down the lineage um, ID there. So then we go down to quantity. So quantity is a, uh, we need to update the pivot usage to three. So um, the quantity is essentially a data value. Data values um, or values are always given a pivot usage of three. So we also need to note down that the lineage ID is uh, 42. So now we're going to create output columns for each uh, for the products. So click on output columns. We're going to add three. So one for beer, one for soda, uh, and one for milk. So we give this one name soda. That will then update there. The pivot key value is updated to soda as well. And the source column, which comes from the lich ID from the quantity, is 42. So Essentially, what this does is it says, what is the quantity uh, for soda? And now we'll move on and do the uh, do the remaining two columns. Um, apologies for trying, uh, for cutting these videos into sh such short sections, but this Cam Studio software that I'm using tends to I end up getting a lag between the audio and the screen in the video clip if I leave the uh, clips running for much longer than about four four minutes. So just um, tune in for the next, uh, for part four of this series.